Hi. Good morning. This is Wayne Blau with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. That's tough. Hey, today we're going to be talking about um, what we're going to do about Trump's tax deferral that technically, well, does go into effect tomorrow. Uh, what are we going to do about it? First, I apologize. These aren't live, so not that many people watched it live anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I must have said something Facebook doesn't like because I can't imagine I talk business, um, but so be it. So what should you do as an employer with COVID-19? I mean, COVID-19 with the tax deferral, the, the Trump Social Security deferral. Let's do a little, let's do a little reminder of what we're talking about. It was back early August um, that Trump did an executive order. And I got to get back to the beginning. And, you know, saying that we could defer, not forgive, defer Social Security taxes, until, you know, until next year. Now, defer means you're going to pay it at some point. It's not forgiven. Now, he says if he gets elected, he's going to try to get it forgiven. I don't make policy based on what might happen. All right. I make policy based on what I see. All right. And what exists right now. Um, so I'm going to talk now, assuming that it is not forgiven. All right. If it ends up being forgiven after the election, that's different. Let's talk about what's happening right now. What that would mean is if it's not forgiven, you're going to have to pay it back. So take the social security taxes and you know, your employee, you will have to pay them back and your employees will have to pay them back. What's the mechanism for that? How is that going to happen? How are you going to report this? Are you going to report all your wages on your 941 and then subtract them out? And the other side of the coin, you have your employees who are told they weren't going to have to pay their social security starting September 1st, which is tomorrow. I'm recording this on August 31st. So what are we doing? Well, there's some articles that have come out. This one is August 26th from Accountant Today. Um, so this is pretty, I mean, what was that? Last Wednesday? And I did a search this morning, still haven't seen anything. Um, basically, the U.S. Treasury Department, which is the IRS, still hasn't figured out or issued any guidance on what we're going to do, all right? So, you know, it, large employers like Walmart, they're just not sure what they're going to do, okay? Um, truthfully, the employers are the ones that are in trouble because you're responsible for taking the money out and putting it in. I really don't see that there's a chance that many of these large companies will do it, all right? Um, many have shied away from the payroll tax defer deferral um, because the taxes would ultimately have to be paid unless Congress acts to forgive it. That's what I told you. Large employers such as Walmart, Macy's Inc., Procter Gamble have said they need more details from the IRS. So do we all. And they didn't immediately respond to a request to comment on whether they would implement the referral, the deferral, uh, if the IRS didn't issue. I don't know. Um, Companies really can't do anything without guidance, okay? Uh, the large companies in particular. Kind of the order, the executive order required the Treasury and the IRS to provide some way it can be done. In this case, particularly, they failed, all right? Um, payroll software companies for the large people like ADP, Paycheck, they needed it a week, 10 days ago. So I don't know what they're going to be doing, all right? Um, I don't know. Um, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, which I'm not a big fan of, we're not going to go into that right now, has said that many companies are unlikely to implement the deferral even with IRS guidance because it forces a large bill on employees in the future and would be very difficult for employers to administer. Further, truthfully, um, the lack of concrete guidance in the most basic implementation issues presents an untenable situation, making it basically impossible for employers to implement this executive order and leaving little choice but for those employers to continue remitting payroll taxes to the Treasury. And that's a, a quote from Caroline Harris, the cha uh, Chamber's Chief Tax Policy Counsel. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said, has said he can't force companies to implement the deferral but said he hopes many companies would participate. Trump has said he would forgive the tax bills if he was elected to the second term, but that still requires Congress. So he would need to have Congress take the House, keep the Senate. I'm not going to get into election predicting here. That's not the, what the purpose of this is. What it really comes down to is the problem is yours. As usual, it's the employer's problem. So what should you do? 
Well, treat your employees like adults. I'd put out a memo, talk to them and explain exactly what's going on. And that as of today, you can elect, and I'm going to treat it as an election, that as the employee can elect to continue to pay payroll taxes, my guess would be if they're forgiven, they would write in where you're able to take it as a deduction. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. All right. Or you can elect to defer it and understand that somehow you're going to pay it back. Is it going to, you know, I mean, you do simple math. Um, if my calculator would ever show up, there it is. If I have somebody who's, who's making a thousand dollars a week. Um, so let's say 5,000 a month, just to make the math easy, five times four, September, October, November, December, $20,000 times 0 0.062. And that's $1,200, $1,240. Uh, is it going to work? I don't know. You know, I'd let the employees decide. Now, for the employer, you got two choices. You pay it and hope it get, and you know, if it gets forgiven, maybe you'll get it as a credit or don't pay it. I'm leaning towards the don't pay it, but save it. <laughs> I'd set up a separate account and take that money and put it aside. The, the, your employ, I'm talking about the employer portion of the taxes. I'd set it aside. And I would hold it aside until I can, until somebody tells me what the heck's going on. All right. So I don't see a reason not to do it. Keeps cash in your hand or a little interest, very little. Um, but it might be forgiven. But at least if it's not forgiven, you have the money to pay back. If you're not worried about having the money, just don't pay it and wait. You know, but if you think it's going to be a problem and you could actually spend it and then have a tax bill later, um, good luck. I don't know exactly where we're going with this. I mean, I'm sorry. I wish I had better guidance, but that's what I'm planning on doing and what I'm planning on telling my clients. Um, leave it up to the employees, the employees that want to treat it like withholding. Do you want to reduce it now and may have to pay it back later? Under current law, you will have to pay it back later. Or do you want to just continue paying it? And, you know, if it gets forgiven, hope that you get your money. I don't know. Tough one. I'm telling you what I would recommend. Hey, until next time, this is Wayne Bilal saying, let's make this our most profitable year ever. And I apologize. By the way, um, the reason we're not doing this live is, like I said, Facebook, for some reason, decided that I couldn't do it on my phone. I don't know what the heck I said. All I do is discuss business. So who knows? Have a good one.